Hello everyone and welcome to a new lesson with Miss Rafa. Today we're going to complete with Unit 6, Physical Education. We're going to focus on the listening and the speaking skills. So, get ready and let's get started together. Listening and Speaking Page 63 Question A In your opinion, how can sport promote equality and enhance the value of diversity? By the way, we can say diversity and we can say diversity. Question B. Listen to the following extract. Choose A, B or C to complete the sentences. Sport values, such as fairness and respect, can serve as example for an economic system that builds on fair competition. Sports can promote equality and can serve to promote the value of diversity. Teams in a sport can express the message of equality and respect for others. A sport including sport events can be used to celebrate moral values. A sport can enhance mutual understanding and address various forms of individual and teamwork. A sport is a stadium that serves as a stages for human behaviour can become a platform for human rights based on respect for diversity. A sport is recognised as a contributor to the empowerment of individuals, such as women and young people, and communities. Participation in sport offers opportunities for the empowerment of people with disabilities. Equal opportunities can be achieved in and through sport by raising awareness, establishing sport-related policies and programmes, aimed at reducing inequality and hatred among peoples. The right to equality and non-discrimination is a cornerstone of the International Law Expressing a human behaviour can become platforms for human rights based on respect for diversity. Sport Stadia Participation in sport offers opportunities for the empowerment of people with Disabilities Sport-related policies and programs aimed at Reducing inequalities Question C. Listen again, then decide whether the following statements are true or false. Equal opportunities can be achieved in and through sport. True. Sport events can be used to celebrate and value diversity. True. Teams in sport can prevent the message of equality. False. 
Sport is recognized as a contributor to the weakening of individuals. False. Now let's move on to speaking. In pairs, discuss the following questions. What's your favorite sport? How often do you practice it? Have you ever participated and won a competition? How did you feel? Now let's move on to the activity book, page 52. Question A. Do you think that the brain is the most important organ in the body? Why? Tell the class. Question B. Listen to the following extract, then decide whether the following statements are true or false. The brain is the organ responsible for acquiring knowledge. It is divided into two halves, called hemispheres. The outer light of both hemispheres is the grey matter. It consists of 10 billions of nerve cells. Under this grey matter is the white matter, which consists of billions of connecting fibres, to connect between the nerve cells. The brain is a decision-making organ of the body. It receives messages from all the sensory organs and is responsible for all intended actions. Moreover, it is the storehouse of memory. The right hemisphere controls and responds to signals from the left side of the body, whereas the left hemisphere controls the right side. Any harm caused to the brain may cause a lot of problems to the body. Those who want to lead a healthy life need to keep their brains busy and active. The human brain is divided into four sections called hemispheres. False. The outer layer of the hemispheres is the white matter. False. The brain is responsible for all intended actions. True. The right hemisphere controls and responds to signals from the right side of the body. False. Keeping your brain active is a positive side of a healthy lifestyle. True. Now let's move on to speaking. Do you have an active brain? Mention some activities that keep the brain active. That's everything for today. Thanks for your time. See you next lesson, inshallah.